If you're someone who is willing to put more work into your real estate investment, you probably reap the most rewards by <laughs> Investing in real estate is one of the most reliable ways to grow your investment portfolio. Today, I'm going to tell you about the different ways you can invest in real estate to expand your wealth and become financially free. And I'm going to tell you the best way to do it. One of the most popular ways and the method that most people think of when they imagine investing in real estate is owning rental properties. Rental properties are really good for people who are looking for long-term stability. They're a great way to let your property appreciate in value without sacrificing a monthly payment thanks to the tenant that lived there. This means that if the market is low and you can't sell your house for profit, you don't have to. All you have to do is to sit and collect that monthly payment until it's a good time to sell. Or alternatively, you can hold on to the property and keep collecting that monthly payment. Rental properties are also a really good way for you to diversify your investment portfolio because they protect against risk in more than one way. Think of investing in a rental property as buying stock in a company and getting a huge dividend every month while it appreciates in value. Not only is the stock itself appreciating and growing your portfolio, but you're also getting paid to hold it while it appreciates. However, like any investment, there are some drawbacks. And it should be noted that although rental properties are a great way to invest in real estate, you do have to consider things like property management and dealing with the tenants. Although rental properties are a really solid way to generate income without putting in a lot of effort month to month, a better way to generate passive income is by investing in real estate investment trusts, also known as REITs. If you don't know already, REITs are companies that own, operate, or finance income generating real estate using money from investors. So if you're somebody who invests in a REIT, you collect a dividend from the mutual fund you invest in, and all you have to do is provide the money for investing. You also don't directly own the properties, meaning you don't have to worry about property management or dealing with tenants like you would with a rental property. Put simply, you're not investing in real estate. You're investing in a real estate investment company and letting them deal with the physical properties. REITs are a really good way to diversify your portfolio without expanding into new markets. Meaning if you prefer sticking to real estate, you'll be able to apply the knowledge you already have. They're also managed by professionals. And the most attractive trait of REITs is their liquidity. With something like a rental property, it takes time to convert it into cash. You have to go through the whole selling process and paying off any debts that you have, which can take months. But with a REIT, all you have to do is to sell your shares. For some people, this isn't a huge issue. So it really just depends on how liquid you want your investments to be. If you're someone who is willing to put more work into your real estate investment, you probably reap the most rewards by flipping properties. You probably already heard of this one, but for those that haven't, the main idea is to purchase a property that's undervalued, pay for renovations that make its value go up, and then sell the property at a price that covers all of the renovations and gives you a reasonable profit. It does require a lot more time, attention than other methods of investment. But if you're willing to give it that time and attention, then you earn a nice profit at the end of it. Some people like myself even do this 12 to 15 times a year. So if you wanna learn about how to do so, then subscribe and hit that bell icon and you'll know when there's a new lesson about flipping. This leaves us with three main ways to invest in real estate rental properties, REITs, and house flipping. If you're observant, you probably have noticed that there's nothing about any of those three investment strategies that restricts you from choosing more than one. And this is the best way to invest by doing all three. The idea is to build your portfolio with both passive and active streams of income to mitigate your risks. You might notice that all three of these strategies vary on how much action is necessary 
to gain a profit. REITs are truly passive because they require attention only when you buy and sell. Rental properties require a little more attention, but they probably aren't going to require attention every day of the month. And flipping properties require a lot of attention, but they have the potential to give the most reward in the shortest amount of time. If you can balance all three of these methods, you'll always be generating profit. For example, maybe you buy a property that you plan on flipping. Let's say you do all the necessary renovations, but by the end of the process, the market is lower than expected and you can't sell it without taking a loss. If you're smart, you can rent out that property until the market is optimal and then split out the profits between REITs, renovations, and down payments for other properties. As long as you have multiple exit strategies at any given time, you can continue making a profit regardless of what's going on around you. Now that you know the three main ways to generate income from real estate investments, it's time for you to take these ideas and tailor them to your needs so that you only take on an amount of risk that you're comfortable with. And if you want to learn more about investing in real estate, then subscribe so you know when there's a new video for you to learn more.